Good Night, Sleep Tight by Claire Friedman. One night, Ethan just could not fall asleep. Aren't you sleepy, Ethan? asked Mummy. No, replied Ethan. I don't feel sleepy at all. I'm wide awake. Do you have your favorite friends to cuddle up with? she asked. They might help you fall asleep. I have Tiger and Rabbit, said Ethan. But where's Elephant? Here he is, says Mummy, tucking him in nice and snug. Now you'll feel sleepy. But neither Ethan nor his little friends went to sleep. We're still wide awake, Mummy, he said. What about a cup of nice warm milk, said Mummy. That makes me sleepy. So Ethan drank every drop of his warm milk, but he didn't feel sleepy. I'm still wide awake, Mummy, he said. Can we watch the fireflies? They make me sleepy. Mummy wrapped Ethan in his cozy blanket, and together they watched the dancing fireflies. Ethan tried to count them, but they didn't make him feel sleepy. I'm still wide awake, Mummy, he said. Would you sing me a lullaby, please? That might make me tired. Mummy sang some of Ethan's favorite songs. Ethan closed his eyes and listened, but he didn't feel sleepy. I'm still wide awake, he whispered. I know, Ethan, Mummy said. Let me rock you in my arms. That will make you sleepy. So Mummy rocked Ethan gently in her arms, all the way down to the apple orchard and back. Ethan felt safe and warm, but he didn't feel the tiniest bit sleepy. Mummy, I'm still wide awake, he said. Will you tell me a story, please? Listening to stories makes me feel sleepy. So Mummy settled Ethan onto her lap and he snuggled up close. She told him stories about all the funny things that she had done when she was little, just like him. Sometimes I didn't feel sleepy at bedtime either, Mummy said. Mummy carried Ethan back inside and she smiled a secret smile as she remembered how her Mummy used to put her to bed when she was little. Mummy tucked Ethan into bed and pulled the covers right up to his nose. My mommy used to tuck me into bed with blankets pulled right up to my nose, just like this, she said. Then she'd stroke the top of my head like this, mommy said. Very gently, she stroked the top of Ethan's head. And she'd give me a special good night kiss, said mommy. And then she gave Ethan a very special good night kiss. What next, mommy? said Ethan with a big yawn. And then she'd say, good night. Sleep tight, said Mummy. Good night, Mummy, yawned Ethan. But before Mummy could say sleep tight, Ethan was fast asleep. The